Perfect. So recording is on. Welcome everyone to the IOTA Experience Simplify X Team kickoff meeting. So I'll do, uh, as always, my first introduction, and then we will have a discussion. And I say we start right now. <clears throat> Welcome everyone. My name is Antonio Nardella. I am community manager at the IOTA Foundation. I am guiding the experience team initiative. So I'm helping IOTA Foundation members and community members set up these initiatives to contribute together and work together. And um, yeah, I'm behind the IOTA community strategy. So try to understand how, um, how we bring people in and how we make IOTA interesting to them and how to uh, help them find the information they need to start being part of the community or um, being part of the whole ecosystem. And of course, I love and enjoy coffee. And now that I have a, a small kid in the house, I enjoy, I'm enjoying it even more. Let's not waste any time. Um, the agenda for today, really quickly, we have the kickoff uh, where I explain uh, what the X teams are and how the initiatives work. Then um, we have the introduction to what the idea behind the Simplify X team is or what the ideas are. Uh, some goals, proposals that come directly from the Simplify X team, and of course, space for Q&A to clear up some things that I might not have explained correctly. Uh, as always, this um, session is recorded, so if people are um, not okay with uh, with uh, their voice being recorded or something, please use the chat function in Jitsi on the bottom left-hand side to ask questions. I will read the questions and then also give you some answers. All right, what are the X teams? Um, the IOTA experience teams are a uh, set now of initiatives. We started in May 2020, so it's almost a year. And we have now almost 60, 60 engaged X team members, and they are growing. Um, we have two initiatives that were launched directly by the community. One was the IOTA identity. And now today we're launching finally the IOTA Simplify X team. So these are two 100% community driven um, initiatives. Uh, and of course, I mean, uh, you're not alone. So there is the IF um, that uh, keeps an eye on the initiatives and can help you or give suggestions or uh, engage with you uh, if and where it is of interest for all parties. Uh, right now we have nine initiatives running. So we started with GoShimmer and Streams and uh, last week with uh, with the smart contracts. And the idea is really to uh, strengthen the collaboration with our passionate community members so that uh, you have an idea of how you can contribute because sometimes when new members come to a community in the open source uh, space, they are um, either uh, uh, invited to, to read typos and the documentation, and that's still valid also for us. So if you would like to do that, you're absolutely welcome. But we wanted to take it a step further and give you some, um, some frameworks, some spaces where you could really um, do more and, and do what, uh, and bring your experience into IOTA. And uh, when we are talking about uh, the projects like streams, like uh, your access and identity, you have also the possibility to bring in your experience. So if you're working in a field where uh, identity is uh, is a key functionality, and you would. Uh, and you see what IOTA identity is building and you would like to contribute with some feedback, with some ideas, with some business cases, use cases, user stories, whatever you have in your uh, backpack of experience, feel free to, uh, to join the X teams and to, of course, contribute to them. Um, the, the end goal is to really have the best experience in the DLT and the IoT space. So uh, the work that we are doing right now together, the contributions are here to help the, uh, the neighbor, help the next people that, uh, that will join our community to have it easier. Because of course, IOTA is, um, is a really interesting and futuristic project. It has some uh, functionality, some ideas that for um, my mother, for example, are really alien still. 
and um, it is imperative to have an easy way to get involved with with iota and to understand how it can be used for for your uh for your use case and for uh, for what you want to build um so i always say and this is always the same slide so it's absolutely true that you uh, speak as a voice for the community. So your vocal members, your people that contribute, and you you might see what's going on in the community and where are some pain points. Uh, and given that some IOTA Foundation members may might be too involved in the project and sometimes really do not have the occasion to to get out there and and confront with with the community, you really hear where you can say, hey, we have, we've seen this, this does not work, uh, we should work on that. And this is where you are really speaking as a voice for the community. Um, then one one thing that I absolutely love, and I've seen that with the GoShimmer team and with the B team, uh, that you're really working uh, alongside IOTA Foundation members. So we have some really engaged uh, node operators and, and uh, I'd say crazy people because uh, they really have something uh, more and that are really helping out with um, with with GoShimmer network with taking ownership in, in community initiatives with testing out some um, the software that might still be broken and continue and are really <clears throat> um, really engaged in 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 helping uh pushing this this uh projects further and i absolutely love that and um as many of you might have seen also with the smart contracts uh protocol um for that team we have now launched a survey so that we can uh, really understand uh how to um how to direct the next steps and so um actually you might be part of the development processes but development is not just programming is really the development how things grow and how things um are built so also here uh, with your inputs this is uh, totally possible and last but not least is the submission of uh, open source contributions to iota so the thing that you do on on github uh the the work that you do there the the filling out issues the um the contributing the, the discussions that grow there uh, is uh, actually um part can become part of your portfolio in the open source world so there are certain instances where companies are now looking at people's portfolios and <clears throat> if you have a github account and they see uh, how prolific you are it's actually some plus points for for your curricula even if it's not code uh, so it's uh, it's really interesting to see how uh, engaging with us helps um, the xt members to do a little more and to try also and also to get in touch with this open source world where people contribute to projects and and the whole governance questions and the who does what and how and all these things and there's also a possibility for you to get this uh, get known this world of course how the iota foundation lives it <clears throat> so how does this framework uh, of course work so how are the processes behind it well um in this case we had the uh, xt members that uh, proposed some goals we have uh, uh, a sheet where we are uh, taking keeping track of the of your propositions so of what you would like to do and how you would like to achieve that this helps you to set of course a goal because uh, since everyone is contributing in their free time and they are um, uh, and they and people might have an hour per week or maybe uh, five hours per week depending on on their hobbies on their day, uh, daytime jobs and such um, it's nice to have something to uh, to look forward to and to know where what direction you want to take so that you can focus on that um, then um, with the simplified team it already happened so the team members are invited to propose other goals so if uh, some of you um, has a goal of um, 
um, of making Reddit easier to to follow, or um, if uh, you are going to build a bridge between uh, between um, Discord and Matrix protocol, and say, hey, I totally love that because there are so many people on Matrix right now, and we want to bridge the the communities. Uh, this is something that I would do. Hey, is absolutely open to you. If you want to translate. Uh, the blog posts to, to your native language. Um, set the goal. You that you translate one article per month. Hey, totally. It helps communities, the international communities grow. So it's a goal that you can set and you can follow that on your own pace, of course. And then you can find people that would like to do the same thing and probably help you and uh, you, know, you get to know each other, you, you, you find people you would like to, to work with and, and you push the whole initiative further and uh, maybe there is something more that starts by just uh, contributing uh, to the X teams. Then how does it work more or less? Of course, it's all really flexible and totally up to you. So there is this creative phase where um, where your skills come into play. So if you're a designer and you love to do infographics and you have seen how some things that we explain are, um, are better explained in infographics and you start putting down a little mock-up, um, and then you start discussing it with the other XT members to get some feedback. Um, and you collaborate and create together. And then in the end, uh, you can really publish and contribute to the whole community with what you love to do. And of course, there are the feedback rounds where we meet, where we talk with each other and, and discuss what's going on. This is the synchronous communication, so where we are really um, meeting like this uh, in, a, in a synchronous uh, a meeting. But of course, there are the X team channels where at any time of the day of the night, you can write your message and uh, the other people can catch up as soon as they have again time to, to join uh, on the discussion on Discord. So also here, you have this feedback rounds, the, the, you publish your contributions and you can of course, and you will um, get support by the IF members where possible. Uh, we have one example about an infographics <clears throat> uh, about uh, IOTA streams where a community member uh, draw it in, in some really simple boxes and then the uh, the designers of the IOTA Foundation put there some really nice graphics to, uh, to make it fit the whole IOTA design. So here again, you work at your own pace, you do what you do the best and when you want to do it. And uh, sometimes also by doing this, some, some friendships grow and also some startups like we have seen with uh, Pulse Server. Um, and also maybe some community projects uh, that go further and grow inside the ecosystem. Um, of course, your contributions um, are um, visible to everyone. So I'm taking here the example of Philon that uh, took uh, the, his time uh, to uh, first contribute to the uh, Discord channels reorganization with Overclocked, with some IOT Foundation members, myself included, and now um, is adding channel descriptions. And so he's uh, he did all these pull requests where he defined um, what he thinks are the most correct channel descriptions for Discord. And now when you go in these channels and you click on top, you see this uh, description popping up with useful links and things like that. And this is really valuable contribution because it helps newcomers um, understand how uh, what's the topic of the channel, for example. And so it's easier for them also to be guided to other resources, to external sites, uh, to our blog or anything else. So this is a really, really awesome contribution. And it, uh, yeah, it takes a little uh, skill to, to get to uh, know uh, GitHub. But after that, as you can see, there are already a, a good list of, of uh, pull requests that Philo was able to, to post. So thank you very much and you're here. So thanks again and keep up the good work. What else? Well, you're actually building your reputation. So this is uh, still an open proposal uh, where we could use this um, tool uh, to track your contributions. So when you are when you decide to do something, you post it to GitHub, you post it um, 
you add uh, what you have done, you, the results and everything. And this can, if you are interested into, can give you a kind of score that you can use afterwards. Um, this kind of a reputation tool uh, works with some kind of smart contracts. So it's uh, not for IOTA right now, but maybe in the future, someone from the uh, smart contracts X team might port it to the IOTA smart contracts protocol, and we could start minting these tokens and start um, have uh, X team tokens where you can vote on stuff, where you can do governance, where you can uh, chip tokens to other people and maybe put it on some kind of um, decentralized exchange and um, have these tokens where you can vote for functionalities, for, uh, for contributions to be pushed. And who knows, maybe uh, your time that you're investing as a free time contribution can become worth worth something in in a in a crypto token. So this is an interesting concept to think about, uh, and to and to see how this can be done. So have a, a look at this. When we talk about reputation, <clears throat> I always love to uh, talk about the contribution by uh, Ale B and Galagogt regarding uh, IOTA streams. But of course, uh, this time I want also to uh, thank the GoShimmer X team and Dave and Dr. Electron for their contribution uh, since uh, they really helped with the DRNG committee that was an important part for continuing the uh, development and research uh, around MANA. Uh, Akunitin that is now championing the IOTA identity initiative. This is a first for, for uh, the X team introduction. So again, thank you very much. He's now uh, taking totally ownership of the X teams. He's organizing, um, he's organizing the the meetings, um, and of course, he has a direct interest uh, as he's also, I think, a CEO of Philancore. So they are that's a company um, that is focused on machine identity. So as you see, he's combining his um, leisure time with the X teams and his professional time and bringing and taking experience. And this is what it's all about, giving and taking. And nothing better than being together. And uh, if people in the Identity X team and they show their knowledge, their skills, they grow together with the X team, uh, maybe they can professionalize their hobby. So, you know, there are different paths that, uh, that uh, drive people and this is what as a community manager I'm trying to uh, to to build these, these paths where people can start with uh, speculation around the token grow inside the community become XT members and then maybe professionalize something that started as a as a free time activity and of course thanks again to every XT member uh, for for the time for the contributions for their passion that you're sharing with us so I will change this slide as uh, maybe someday, <laughs> but this is the way, this is what I love. This is what I loved about the IOTA community when I first joined as a community member. And I hope that this helps you um, enjoy your time and your, your hobby even more at this point, because you're actually the most, we are actually the most important part of of iota it's um it's the the community ecosystem everything that we bring to the table is helping this vision grow and making the machine economy a reality in the future so uh the iota simplify x team so a brief introduction it will be really quick about it because um it's nothing really technical at this point so for now, it's really 100% uh, community driven. So it happened so, um, before Christmas, if I remember it correctly, that some community members were discussing uh, marketing around IOTA. And I proposed to them to, uh, to share and combine their energies uh, in, uh, into an X team and uh, to try to understand, OK, how can we make the IOTA um, how can we make IOTA easier, easier to understand, easier to engage with? Um, how can we bring the word out and stuff like that? And so it's a completely 100% community driven and I'm supporting the X team in the sense of that I'm <clears throat> here doing the kickoff and I'm of course um, 
having discussions with the IF members to understand how we can engage. For example, with the Discord channel reorganization, it started inside the IF, I brought it to the X team members, we worked together on it, and now it became reality. So um, it's I love how this um, X team, even being rogue until now, really already had strong impact for the community. Um, it aims to simplify IOTA all around. Well, uh, it's a big scope, so yes, uh, it can be really anything. As I've said before, it could be that you want uh, to make it easier for people that speak your native language to uh, get informed about IOTA, and um, you want to just, just simply uh, use a translation service, translate the um, translate the blog post to your language and post it uh, to blog. Well, that's already simplifying the approach to IOTA for people uh, that are not already members. Um, you would like to do, you are, um, you have graphic skills, perfect. You like to sit in front of a camera and do tutorials. Hey, absolutely welcome. There is nothing uh, that um, that's outside of scope to make IOTA easier and to simplify IOTA for um, for for other uh, non community members. So for everybody out there, so anything goes really. Um, anything. I'm not. I'm not putting any any limits to the X team. So um, of course it it depends on your time. So if you want to rebuild the uh, IOTA website to make it easier. Well, it's a hard task. And if you have time, you're free to do a, a fan page <laughs> in that sense that or a community page. If you want to rebuild the ecosystem website, it's absolutely welcome. If you would like to uh, to bring our uh, our demos or our um, or to simplify the discussions behind the, the 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 demonstrations that we do with the companies, so that you have a one pager to to show to to other companies, and uh, that's something that you do because you're a consultant. Hey, and you want to share with us? Go for it. Absolutely, anything goes. So the idea is really to make IOTA as easy as possible to understand, as easy as possible to engage, and as simple as possible. It's the hardest task of all, as uh, Stefano said before the recording. It's really hard to make things easier. And so um, what I suggest is to uh, make easy achievable goals. So you have one big objective and you say, OK, I want really to uh, bring IOTA to my, my, my region, my country. It's a huge task. So where do you start? And always choose something that you can do in one to five hours. So you can spend one or two weeks to achieve it or three weeks to achieve it so that you also have a feeling of achievement. Uh, this is also really important because uh, setting huge goals as a big elephant, but just having it there and, and uh, feeling bad because you're, you're never taking the time is actually worse than do something that you see as really small because you have the skill set, but it really contributes to the whole vision. So we have already some um uh, some areas um this is a proposal from my side so i took actually uh the goals that uh that the xc members already defined i tried to put them in four areas but it's a proposal so this is what you will find in github so please rework it no worries reword it rework it rename it it's not in under my control i'm just doing it to have the structure in place. And from here, you can take total ownership uh, around it. So I had uh, four areas in mind. One is um, uh, engagement. So how to simplify the engagement with other, um, for the community. So uh, the first example is, of course, the uh, simplification of the Discord channels, the descriptions, uh, maybe the, the role system where you can uh, organize where you can um, um, show or hide different sections or of the Discord. For example, the Reddit. Um, anything where the IOTA, where the uh, where non not yet community members uh, are engaging with IOTA. So any channel that you see, how can we make that easier? How can we make that uh, smoother? How can we make it uh, in more interesting for people to engage? Anything goes. So you can define your goals. You want to do YouTube videos and and explain things. Um, 
how to use the Discord. Uh, hey, nobody has done that before, and it makes it easier for people that do not like to read, for example, to um, to engage with the Discord community. So you explain, all right, these are this is this section, and here this happens. It's something that nobody has done so far, and of course, it would help totally. Like the Discord channels guide, if you like to write. Uh, and you prefer to have things structured and, and readable, um, that's also a goal that you can set and say, hey, we have, uh, I have started like half a page of the channel Discord guide, but that's something that you see as really uh, important for people to engage. Do that. Um, if, you, um, if you're following different, um, different IOTA Facebook communities, but you see that people are lost because something is missing with engagement there, and you would like to put some kind of process in place, go for it, totally. Then we have the outreach. Uh, the outreach um, area is really how we engage with other communities. I put crypto communities in, in, uh, in brackets because it's not just about crypto, in my opinion. So it's something uh, I, please, I'm totally, excuse me, I do not remember who put their goals into that, but, um, this was a totally good idea. So this is, I think, on one area where the Simplify X team could really extend and expand. So how engage, how to engage with our communities? Uh, some guidelines. So don't go there and, and start spamming, hey, Yota is the best. That's not going to work. Um, but try to engage in a discussion. Try to um, be polite. Try to uh, avoid being a troll, avoid being a fanboy, a moon boy. Uh, so maybe also there five good rules about how to engage with other communities what to co what communities to engage with so maybe uh, it's a good time uh, since fees are are a huge thing we have seen other projects that have zero fees now all over uh, twitter and other channels oh we have no fees we are the best and stuff like that yeah well makes sense it's it's a pain point that the uh, crypto market is feeling it's it's really strong and it's now a good way to engage with these communities and bringing our USPs, our um, unique selling points to these communities with a certain manner, with a certain way that's, uh, um, that's let's say, uh, how would I say this correctly right now? Uh, with the best way that you think is, is, <laughs> is the way to engage with them. And when I say communities without crypto. Well, for example, I'm on some LinkedIn groups about uh, around identity and I'm not going in there and, and just pushing my stuff. I discuss with the moderators and say, hey, um, I know that you are about, uh, your group is specifically about uh, identity. Um, I've seen that IOTA projects does this with DLTs. Is it okay for you if I post this? And, and start the discussion with the group owners, with the group uh, administrators. And, you know, uh, of course the guideline would be be friendly, but on the other hand is try to engage with these professional communities and um, again, uh, show them what's possible because somewhere someone is looking for this kind of solution and does not know that and does not know that it's possible. And you can really start a, a discussion and uh, invite them to look at their resources or bring them to the community and uh, help them understand what IOTA is and what's possible. So also there, there are different communities that we can engage with. Of course, uh, it's possible to build these uh, one pagers or uh, put together these, these informative sites. And that uh, thing that I call NTFUD guide, so the FAQ, also, this is really important. I mean, um, one thing could be that you start engaging with other communities or you're maybe already in, in some Telegram groups and when someone comes up with IOTA, you see some specific uh, replies. Well, pick them up, uh, write them down. Uh, we will probably put together a document where everyone puts down their their uh, uh, the, the, the questions or the arguments that people bring. And we can start then with the IOTA Foundation to, to start building together the answers, the good answers. So it's not about uh, showing who um, who has the, the strongest reason, but really uh, factual answers. Look, this is the resource. Have a look. If you're really interested, here is the answer to your question. Uh, if you're really interested, 
to understand what IOTA is, look, this is how they're going to solve it and stuff like that. I think this is could be really helpful in general for everyone in the community, uh, for people on Twitter, for the people on Reddit. And I think it would be a good part of the outreach, uh, of the outreach uh, part of Simplify to build something like that. Then we have the ELI5, so explain it like M5. And here, again, anything goes from infographics, from videos on YouTube on or other platforms, tutorials, uh, guides, anything that you love to do and you maybe are writing down something for yourself, share it with the X team, share it with the community, and something comes out of it. Uh, I mean, we have... Um, a uh, German community member, his name is uh, Schmucklos, or his nickname is Schmucklos, and he started collecting information to explain IOTA to his father. And that is now the uh, IOTA Anfänger, uh, the IOTA Beginner's Guide. So the German guide was started from someone that explained things to his father. And now there is the English uh, translation that someone has done. And this is really also helpful for all, all the community to really understand, like there are five. Uh, so really break down the concepts to a really simple language so that people can understand and uh, engage uh, even more and, and grow inside uh, and be part of the IOTA vision. And the last one um, I call the market adoption. So uh, of course, it's a little more business friendly. So it's a little more structured, there's a little more, um, I think, um, a little more something that can be used also for your business. So if you are a consultant, if you're uh, working in IT and you would like to bring IOTA out there and you're already preparing some one-pagers, two-pagers to bring out the idea around identity, to bring out the idea around access, share it with us, get feedback from us, uh, uh, share it with the X team, um, uh, see if there are some unanswered questions that you might have missed. And then we, you, if you share them with the community, it will help the whole IOTA vision around that. And of course, when we talk about market, I know it's really business, uh, business talk, business jargon, but here is where I say, here is the interna internationalization of resources. So uh, for example, in the evenings, I still take my time to take the IOTA articles, um, throw them in deeple.com, translate them, put them on my Tutu Tangle blog in Italian, just do a proofreading if, if the sentences make sense in general, uh, in general, and then I put them out in Italian and share them in the Italian uh, IOTA Italia community on Telegram. You know, it, it helps because there are people out there that where English is really not something they, they, they know and they understand and it's absolutely normal, I'd say. And by translating this thing, you're actually helping them and you help uh, other people that, um, that do not have the possibility to get to know what IOTA is doing, to get to know where the vision is going and it's simplifying the approach to IOTA. So if we now have a look at the goals proposals, uh, again, these are XT member goals. It's nothing that I have defined. I've looked them up in the, in the sheet, in the, um, in, the, in, the, in the table, in the sheet that the people already filled out. It's not all of them. I just took some examples. And I, th I think this is something that we can continue working on. Or like the first goal, of course, is something that we have already are doing. So um, for the engagement uh, part, we have the structurization, organization, uh, and simplification of the IOTA Discord. So um, it's a work in progress. So it already started, but it's not finished. So we have a uh, space here for people to contribute by defining channel descriptions, by a suggestion, suggesting channels where we collect resources. So you say maybe, maybe in the IOTA projects, we can create a read first here where we explain again what every channel does or where we uh, link uh, the blog post where we link external resources, where uh, we communicate something that's not there yet to make it easier to browse. Uh, suggestions, goals, do that. Absolutely, absolutely welcome and um, please uh, continue with that. Um, 
go for it and it's uh, absolutely something that we can continue doing and is uh, one goal that uh, is here part of today's presentation another one for the outreach um, we have uh, I've written down three uh, really easy things one is the list of relevant channels and when I say channels it's of course some marketing jargon where we are talking about target groups and channels is okay where do we want to reach out to people so what are the best platforms do we want to do it on 4chan do we want to do it on TikTok? Uh, do we want to do it on LinkedIn or uh, Xing crossing the the German uh, LinkedIn counterpart uh, so here pretty simple task you, one might say uh, open an issue on github write down the channels that you think would be the best or discuss them first in discord in the x team channel with the other community members and then we have an idea of what channels we want to focus on after we want we know what channels we want to to move towards well let's write down some guidelines because maybe uh, on a more fresh platform like TikTok the the guidelines will look totally different from the guidelines for LinkedIn platform for example so there you already see that from one goal another one grows and you can extend it and you can work uh, towards that on the other hand another part of the outreach is really to collect these uh, these questions so you're on Twitter uh, you see that the Auto Foundation tweets his uh, blog post about nfts and then someone in the reply says something about nfts and you, you do not have the question uh, the answer to that write it down let's collect it let's put all this together uh, so that we find answers so that uh, the community can be prepared to answer to the questions that come and so that everyone from if members to community members to people on twitter telegram wherever can find one place to uh, to find good answers and and factual answers, uh, and and uh, avoid getting into some uh, philosophical discussions. Simp uh, pretty easy to do things. So write down what they've said in, into a list. That's really nothing that takes more than uh, five minutes, uh, unless you want to take more than five minutes. But really, really helpful and really useful to the whole. Um, uh, really strong contribution to the whole community um, another one is to uh, yeah it's uh, oh here I have the the old name reduced overhead and here we have Alexander the Great with the Gordian knot and here is I think this is uh, the li5 uh, section where we try to make IOTA easier so also here anything goes um, um, really take the uh, the, the complex concepts look at what people say in discord oh what are nfts well uh, it's not something that we invented so it's something that you could look up on on um, on on google try to make your two or three slide presentation or five uh, sentences paragraph where you explain it and you share it with the community uh, if you're going to do it anyway because you're curious about it and you want to know what NFTs are, um, why not put it as a resource uh, and make it available to the whole community so that uh, we can grow uh, together. And also here, again, anything. Revisiting the IOTA glossary. Uh, we have um, words. We, yes, we have many words. We have words where uh, that might sound alien to. Some, I mean, there is a really specific jargon to IOTA, and there is a glossary on the on the docs page, but maybe there are some things more, and we could extend that. And you can directly contribute to the documentation website and extend the glossary, and anything goes. Again, uh, feel free to really. Push, uh, find your own goal. What you're doing for yourself, probably, you could absolutely share it with the community because there's nothing um, that can't be contributed. And the last one is the market adoption. So um, one goal that I've seen in the in the table that we have is really to showcase the IOTA tech as an answer for old fashioned processes. So here someone was talking, uh, is, it was a little more defined. So it was like, okay, have a look at the trademark East Africa and the global supply chain and try to explain it uh, really 
um, uh, to someone that does uh, uh, that does I don't know uh, that does work in, in the pharmaceutical industry or for someone that ships uh, uh, that ships um, headphones or that builds uh, 3d printed stuff and they do also global supply chain and they don't need to do track and trace so try to take that idea that's somewhere there and make it tangible for them so for their use case for their market uh, this is really uh, an interesting and important goal and task and it can be done for anything from identity to access to streams with the oracles idea and again don't make the elephant too big to eat so try to really break it down to small tasks that you can complete in uh, five hours, eight hours, ten hours, something that you can really do and achieve quickly and build it up piece by piece. And of course, uh, the other one that I'm, I think it's the third time that I'm saying it, but really translating resources to reach non-English speaking people. It's not, uh, it's not to underestimate. It's really valuable to do something like that. So these are some proposals that we have. Some of these are on the XTeam uh, GitHub repository that you can find here. If uh, if XTeam members would love to have uh, um, a walkthrough on, on GitHub, how to do simple stuff like adding an issue, answering, stuff like that, uh, get in touch. I mean, I'm here to support you in this. So if you say that as XT members, you would love to understand how to use GitHub, we can do that together. We can have another meeting where we do just that. And then we record it and share it with the whole community. So get in touch there. If you would, if you're not already a member of the uh, Simplify X team, get in touch with me either on Discord or any other channel or uh, in the uh, announcement, uh, X team's announcement article. There is also the form to submit uh, your, um, your interest. I will now add the Simplify X team because that's still missing. And so we are here for building this experience team together. And now it's time for Q&A. So let me see if there are some questions. We're all right. Um, so I'll take the first question. Where do we post these sad questions? We decide. So uh, either we, um, we have already a Google Drive um, folder that I'm sharing from my IOTA drive. Um, where we could just have another uh, spreadsheet where you could post these questions, or um, you tell me where you want to, what tool you want to use. It's absolutely up to us. It's up. I, actually, it's up to the team what tools they prefer to use. I can give suggestions. So if you are looking for something and are not sure, uh, ask me, and I try to suggest what kind of uh, of tools there are available. Um, then uh, making an IOTA FAQ game would be a fun way to learn about IOTA. This sounds really interesting. Um, uh, for the person that posed that question, if you have some ideas regarding that, if you have already seen something like that, uh, how it can be built, if there are some open source uh, frameworks that can be used to do something like that, please come forward and, and propose it in the experience channel because Sounds really, really interesting. And yeah, would be something that would be a, a fun way to, to do and and, um, and to build. And of course, yes, uh, as, uh, as has been answered to the where to post the questions, yes, of course, the drive folder, but it would be really good to make it public so that everyone can, uh, can join. Um, for the translations of the IOTA blog posts, um, I'm not sure. Uh, the, the thing is that uh, everything that's under the IOTA Foundation channels has to be vetted by the comms department. And I think that I suppose they do not have the bandwidth to, um, to check every translation because, of course, uh, uh, in, in certain countries, you're responsible for what you publish. So we have to be really careful there. Um, of course, it could be a, a medium blog post, as you propose. Um, I have my uh, Two to Tangle platform. It's the same that the IOTA Foundation uses, and it's open to contribution. I have no ads. I have no revenue. 
So if we want to share that, uh, we can share that platform. I'm going to share that in the chat. So you can have a look at it. Uh, wait, yeah, uh, I have to write also the right link. The second one should be the right one. And that you can... Um, uh, Medium is banned in China, so yes, Medium is uh, not a good idea if we want to use, uh, yeah, if we want to share it with that market. And um, but there is this other platform that I share with you. Again, I am making no revenue from it, just for the passion and because I always did Italian translations. And we could finally put them all together there if you want. To. Uh, there is a community member that proposed, uh, I'm not sure if he's going to do that, but that proposed to translate the uh, Einsteiger guide, the IOTA beginner's guide to Spanish. Of course, there be careful, please. Since the Einsteiger guide was made by Schmucklos, as I have said before, always ask for, uh, for authorization. Because of course, I mean, it's his page, it's his material, it's his work. And uh, it's not nice when people steal your contribution, and uh, but it should be asked for permission. So if someone has the idea to write that in another language, always ask the original author um, uh, for that. For the IOTA blog posts, um, those are free to be translated, to be posted to one or the other side. So um, that's um, an idea. Um, yes, I think, uh, so the, another question here is uh, if we can bring the whole workspace to GitHub. It's absolutely possible and I can make this introduction. So um, first goal for uh, the X team right now is to find another suitable, um, suitable meeting, uh, time and date. You set it up, I, I'll be really flexible to that. And I'll do an introduction to GitHub for you and it will be recorded so it can be shared with other teams afterwards. But just for, and if possible, uh, collect uh, a series of, of, of things that you would like to do with GitHub. So it's easier for me to structure also the guide uh, or the, the work through uh, for you. If anyone would, would like to speak up and talk, of course, please uh, raise your hand and unmute and uh, ask away or use the chat. Okay. Uh, I, uh, typing takes time, so we'll wait another two or three minutes. No worries. Text is fine, and I like to, and I read the questions anyway. No worries there. And thank you very much for joining. So, uh, so here is a proposition. Some time ago, I saw. Uh, in the Google Doodle, a very simple game for children to learn to program. It would be interesting to make a little game of that type, showing the advantages of decentralized transactions over centralized ones with a very simple game concept. Could be explain, explained so hard to explain. Yeah, uh, um, uh, so, uh, very simple game. Once with a very simple game as a concept. Could be explained so hard to explain sometimes. Gustavo, I think I got the point. So the idea is really to make a, a, a simple uh, game one could play through and see. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's just an idea, of course. But some really simple um, game that explains to people uh, this is the centralized way, this is the, cent the decentralized way. So what does it make easier for people to grasp? I absolutely agree. It's uh, There are people that are good and understand things by reading, uh, others by seeing, others by doing. And so I totally uh, get the idea and it makes sense um, uh, to engage with people by showing them really in, in a simple game, in a simple structure, what is the difference between uh, centralized and decentralized. Another uh, thing that, I mean, it sounds uh, obvious right now, but uh, memes are uh, a strong way of communicating simple concepts with an image. Uh, if you love and you have good ideas for memes, go for it. Um, if you would, uh, if you are uh, able to do uh, animate uh, animations, uh, gifs or gifs, depending on your country, how you you read it, uh, there are some interesting concepts that can be shown with animations. For uh, if I don't know if people 
Uh, here, no, the zero fees animation that we have, where we have just the transactions between different blockchains and IOTA and the fees that grow and ours that remains fee-less. I mean, it's an animation that really easily explains a really strong concept of IOTA. And I think that's also something that could be done. So if, uh, perfect. Um, about a little quiz, yes. Um, I, I, if I might suggest something here, um, since it's, um, the ideas are really good, so how about a little quiz? So for people that know already something about Yota, but wanna check if they understand it really. So some little rewards like NFTs or uh, badges or something like that as prizes, makes totally sense. Um, here, uh, the idea would uh, to be not to build it from scratch. So uh, always try to look if there are some frameworks, some tools out there that already do that, even better if they're open source tools. And I can help you set them up on some uh, VPS to try it out and, and try to figure it out. So that's something that we could do. So if there is some, um, some quizzing tool, uh some quizzing tools out there where you have these questions and these answers and this system i i'm pretty sure there is something out there um have a look at them uh, we can as a team really look at the pros and the cons set it up for tests i can set them up on my vpss and we can test it out so absolutely these ideas are are really good to engage with people to bring it out there and um again be really careful here make a big objective, but easy to reach goals. All right, this is really helpful for motivation. And it's really helpful also at the personal level uh, that you see that you are achieving these contributions and these steps. All right, if there are no more questions, I would like to thank you and I am now stopping the presentation. So it has been a real pleasure um if there's anything you would like if uh, some of you are not in the x team already get in touch with me on discord or any other channel to join the teams um so i'd say we wrap it up uh thanks everyone uh, thanks anyone everyone from the uh, simplify x team that has worked roguely until now but now it's official we are out there and these were your goals so i've just put together the graphics, but you are doing really good so far. And I hope to see this team grow and spread the word. So if you see someone in Discord talking about, oh, how, why is there not this or something like that, try to engage with them and bring them into the X team and, and turn it around. So not just someone demanding something, but make them someone that can really contribute to the to answering his own questions. I think this is something that we can do together. So I will now thank everyone for joining, for taking the time and stopping the recording. So see you next time.